Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting some step one and step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 200 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, bad intentions. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Alright, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. You want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come out fighting. They touch them up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? So all right, so the fight is now underway. We'll see how long it goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're in danger the entire time. Oh, man, head kick lands. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. He lands the right hand. Oh, nice. Lee's 
punch to the body there doesn't get there. Nice job by the defense to block the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, single collar tie now. Big kick land. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Left hand punch from the clinch. Checks the leg kick. Under two minutes to go in the round. Nice punch by Lou. Head kick. A little single collar tie there. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strike. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And back to his feet. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. All right, here, final seconds of round one. A oh, beautiful combination of knees and the clinch to the head. And a nice job raising the knee, changing the angle. He's throwing knees at different tempos. Beautiful stuff to watch. I mean, just beautiful stuff to watch. Get your pen and paper. Start writing down notes if you ever want to fight with this Muay Thai type of fight style. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. That was a thudding leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No free piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole <laughs> platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. Oh, wow, you don't see that every day. Beautiful Imanari roll. Right into a heel hook attempt now. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter, and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, there's a the tap. He got the finish, what a beautiful Kimura finish by this great fighter. And I don't care how high your threshold is for pain, when you're in that compromised state, better to tap and fight another guy. 
It's so crazy because people think the pressure's on your arm. It's all your shoulder. When somebody has a really good Kimura, it feels like they're going to break your shoulder. That's why you have to tap. Well, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 58 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. And intention. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. Thank you for watching. Please wait for more videos. See you soon.